The study is a great place to get some practical work done, but it can also end up pretty cluttered and a pretty uninspiring place to be. Yeah. Well, we're going to renew this space in two easy steps. We're going to create a bold splash of colour and do a really cool stencil effect. Gorgeous. And it'll be a space that you want to be productive in. Before we apply the paint to our wall, we need to do a little bit of preparation. Our drop sheet is already down, so let's give the wall a light sand and wipe down. Then, use a good quality painter's tape to tape around the edges, so the paint goes where you want it to and you get a nice, crisp, straight edge. Picking the right colour is really important in the study, and we've decided to go for this beautiful yellow. I mean, yellow is a great colour because it is scientifically proven that it motivates and it also promotes creativity. It's perfect for a study. Now, one of the things about a bold feature wall is, yes, it's going to look beautiful, but it is going to highlight the colour. So there's a couple of little secrets here. Masking tape always helps, but critically, you want a brush that's going to do two things. Hold its shape to give you control, and also put it on beautifully and smooth. And the same goes for the roller. You want the best quality wall roller you can get to give you that ultra smooth finish. When you're painting a feature wall like this, always cut in around the edges before rolling out. And use a quality wall brush like this that's designed for the job so you get a professional look. Then get rolling. For a bold colour like this, I like to use a 12mm nap wall and ceiling roller, which glides across the surface and gives the wall a smooth, beautiful finish. Now let's get stuck into a second coat. So our second coat of this gorgeous yellow is dry and it looks just beautiful. But now here comes the fun part where we get to do our stenciling treatment. And these are great, you can buy them online, super easy to get and super easy to use as well. We're actually going to adhere it to the wall using painter's tape and I'm actually positioning it off to the left, reason being we don't want it dead centre because the computer will sit there and it's just going to cut it off. So we're popping it off to the left here and I'm just using my bar as a border to keep it nice and straight sticking that down on the wall and now it's time to get some paint on. The trick with stenciling is to load a roller lightly with paint, then wipe off any excess on a paper towel before applying it to the stencil. Now you have your roller all loaded and ready to go, it's time to actually start painting this stencil. Now the best way to go about this is to actually go quite lightly to start with because it's that age old thing, you can always add more paint but you can't take it away. So nice light strokes upwards will give you the desired effect that you're after. And you'll also notice that we're using a really nice light neutral base for our feature colour here. And the reason being, it's going to just blend in beautifully and give a really nice subtle effect with the stencil. We're doing one coat on our stenciling, but I like to pop my roller into its smart lock mini case, mainly because you never know when I'm going to need a touch up and it lasts for up to two weeks. Here's a handy tip, make sure that you peel the stencil off the wall while the paint is still wet. That way you know you're going to get a clean peel off and you're not going to have any paint stick to the wall that shouldn't be there. This study was so drab previously and now look, it's so fab. This colour has lifted the whole space and what I love about that stencil is it's really customised the area and given it a bit of personality as well. And we were able to renew this space in two easy steps, that bold splash of colour and that sensational stencil. Yeah, so simple and so effective. Yeah.